I'm Rachel Sheffield. We're in Sheffield Mills, Nova Scotia, located in the Annapolis Valley. Strong farming community. Like most Canadian chicken farms, this is a family farm. My brother and I currently make up the third generation on this farm. My grandparents started the farm in 1958, and my two uncles own and operate the farm, and my oldest brother and I get to farm alongside them. I grew up on this farm, worked here in the summers. After high school, I went to the agriculture college. Uh, I knew I wanted to stay in agriculture because I have a passion for it, but I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna do after I graduated university, and my Uncle John always said, we'd love to have you here, but if there's something else you wanna do, go do it. And then March of 2020 came, and that was COVID. We all got sent home from university. It was kind of a crazy time, but on the farm, there was a sense of normalcy. It, the chickens had to be gone through every day, and I kind of knew that this is where I want to stay, this is where I want to build my career. On this farm, we have seven barns. We farm 330 hectares. We grow onions and cereal crops. We start our days at seven. In our barns, we go through them at a minimum three times a day, every day. When they're chicks, day one to 10, that's the big time we want to make sure that they're comfortable, they're healthy, everything's working properly. So if we check how much water they're drinking, uh, the heat, the humidity, their weight, make sure they're gaining size. We have computer systems in all of our barns. So if something does go wrong, we get an alarm right to our phone. Supply management, uh, it gives me the support to be able to use the best practices and use innovative technology to grow the best birds we can. And then on the flip side, as a consumer, I know that I'm able to go to a store shelf and there's gonna be Canadian chicken on the, on the shelves. It's a fair price and that I'm gonna want to choose. Women in agriculture definitely bring different strengths on this farm. One of the things I might lack in is physical strength. You know, I might not be as strong as someone else might be, but what I lack in physical strength, you know, I make up in different areas. And, and that's a big thing that I think we're seeing a lot more of is that women bring different skill sets that can make your farm more productive, more efficient, just a different way of seeing things. On this farm, I'm the farmer, my brother's the farmer, my uncle's a farmer, it's, it's all the same. I've been very fortunate that my uncles, everyone on this farm, every job they do, I do. Off the farm, maybe a little different. Maybe you gotta speak up a little more. It's a different reality for women, for sure. Sometimes you're gonna get someone that might come to the farm and might not see you as a farmer. So you just gotta work a little harder to make sure that you're seen as a farmer. My boyfriend, he's also a farmer. So when we go out and we're talking about chicken farming stuff, uh, they'll start to talk to my boyfriend sometimes. But, you know, he'll just say, well, she's a farmer here, you ask her. He is one of my biggest supporters, definitely. In the agriculture industry, there's many women to look up to, specifically in the chicken sector, you know, there's many, many local women that, you know, if I know I need anything, that they'll be right there to help me out with. Um, and, and Amy, she's one of them. I met her when I was doing a 4-H project, and, and I knew that she was heavily involved with um, women in ag stuff. She has a maritime women's network. And I was doing, actually, a speech on women in agriculture, and I messaged her to get some pointers and stuff, and I guess that's kind of where our relationship started. Kind of just grew from there. You know, she was kind of doing the same thing that I wanted to do when I grew up, so that was something that I looked up to her for. And now we've kind of grown from a mentorship a relationship to a friendship. This year I was the Atlantic Canada representative for the Chicken Farmers of Canada Young Farmer Program. I really, really enjoyed the program. I thought, you know, this is a good way to kind of bridge the gap between ending school and, and starting my career. It's uh, a way to uh, learn more. Everyone in the program I made sure that I had a great time. I got to learn a lot about the policy side of the, the sector. I knew how our farm worked and, and I knew a little bit about the policy end, but it was nice to be able to see it and kind of see how policy and, and regulation gets funneled down on farm. And, and I was able to see firsthand that farmers up there, they're the ones making the decisions. My neighbors, they're at the board, they're at the table talking about what's going on here locally. So it's nice to know that Canadian chicken farmers, we're all on the same page. Every province is talking and making sure that the best quality chicken is there for our consumers. My future in chicken farming, I want it to be here. I want to grow this place. You know, my grandfather started it, something that I want to continue for many generations to come. And not just on this farm, I see definitely myself taking on a larger leadership role within the sector, hopefully sitting at the table, um, making the decisions, uh, having, you know, my voice heard.